Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at part 4 of our precision farming series for Farming Simulator 22. Specifically we're going to take a look at harvest time. We're going to look at the financial analysis to help us understand our costs and our incomes per field as well as once again going back and taking a look at the environmental score and ultimately how that affects our selling price when it comes time to sell our grain. Now, field 20, 18, and 12 are ready to harvest at this point. If we come back here to our precision farming screen, you can see that we are still sitting at a 77 environmental score for fields 18 and 20, and a score of 69 for field 12. Field 12 is showing zero nitrogen, even though we don't need any nitrogen because it's got so soybeans in it. Field 18 and 20 have never registered that we've put lime on the field, nor has it really registered that we have put nitrogen on the field, while both of these fields are showing perfect for pH and nitrogen. So clearly we have applied lime and fertilizer as required. But for whatever reason, the environmental score is not reflecting that. This is our first go around though, with respect to planting and harvesting with precision farming enabled. And we are thinking that we're gonna have to go through this process a couple more times before everything kind of works its way out. So let's get in the cloth harvester here and get this thing fired up. Now that we're harvesting, let's go back here and heavens to Betsy, everybody. We have an environmental score of 99, nearly perfect. So that is really, one, really awesome to see. And two, rather interesting to see that it took us putting our harvester in the field before it would register a 99. And no, I had no idea that that would actually happen. That was me really actually being excited. Kind of surprising, huh? Now, if we take a look here at our environmental score overall, we're somewhat being affected by the fact that we own every other field on a map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of a break and I'm going to work on selling all of the fields other than fields 12, 18, and nine and 20, sorry, 12, 18, and 20. And when we come back, we're only gonna own those three fields and we should see our environmental score here jump up and therefore have a rather significant effect on our selling prices. Now that we only own fields 12, 18, and 20, you can see our overall environmental score has jumped up quite a bit. We are currently at 82 on our overall environmental score, which means, as you can see down here, your environmental score increases your sell price by 10%. And I suspect as we harvest fields 18 and quite possibly fields 12, our environmental score is gonna bump up even more. So while we wait on our harvester to harvest our wheat here on field 20, and then we're gonna move up to 18 and of course over to field 12, let's take a look at our economic analysis, or I've been calling it our financial analysis. So we have here a breakdown of field 20, 1.98 hectares in size. You can see that we have taken 10 soil samples and it cost us $500. Then you can see that we had used 6,324 liters of lime at a cost of $1,400. We used 12, 1,362 liters of mineral fertilizer, cost us $2,179. We didn't use any liquid fertilizer. We didn't use any manure. We did use 32,737 liters of slurry. Didn't have a cost to that because, well, it's our slurry from our animals. We used 896 liters of seed, cost us $806. We used 102 liters of herbicide. 
that cost us $145. We've used so far 59 liters of fuel on this particular field in order to do all of the field work. It's cost us $74. We've required $261 worth of vehicle maintenance if we were to maintain our vehicles. And we've charged $472 to the AI helper. Now, I think I need to go and empty a harvester. So let me go take care of that. So back to our financial analysis. You can see then the next section is yield. And of course, that is continuing to go up as we continue to harvest this field. We're going to revisit the economic analysis once we've hit all three fields here. But you can see where we're at. We're at 17,000, nearly 500 liters worth of grain, and then at a profit of nearly $6,000. Now, you may ask yourself, where is this profit coming from? What value is it using? Well, it's going and using the current selling price for wheat. So it is currently using probably the $1,202 over at the Fellsburn sell price, sell point in order to establish what our profit is going to be. If we hold on to the grain for six months and then sell it, the game doesn't know that. It's basically going to tell us what we would get for this field's harvest if we sold it today. You can see here where we're at total cost $5,905, total earnings $6,440 at this point. So we are looking at a total profit on this particular field of $640 and climbing as we continue to harvest. So let me go ahead and like I said, fast forward, we're going to have all our fields harvested and then we'll wrap this all up. Now that we have harvested all three fields, let's take a look at our environmental score. Overall, we're sitting at an 89, and that is going to give us a 12% increase on our selling prices when we sell the grain. If we look at our financial analysis or economic analysis for field 12, which sadly never increased its economics or its environmental score above 69 the chart is still showing zero for nitrogen. Silly beans don't require nitrogen, so I should have been at 100% because I have all the nitrogen I need for soybeans. But I digress, I digress. At any rate, you can see this took 29 soil samples. We used 7,946 liters of lime, 60 liters of mineral fertilizer. Again, because we don't need fertilizer for this field. We didn't use any liquid fertilizer, no manure, no slurry. We used 917 liters of seed, 169 liters of herbicide, 228 liters of fuel, $617 of vehicle maintenance, and $847 of an AI helper. We have actually harvested two harvests off this field. So we have a yield of 42,901 liters worth of product. We have a total cost of $7,197, total possible earnings of $29,784. So we've got a total profit of $22,587 on this field. You can see it says since last reset and total values. Now what I could do is now that I've harvested this field, I can hit reset. And what it's going to do is it's going to reset this for the next field. So you can reset after every harvest to kind of see your current costs and your incomes and what you're going to end up with as far as a profit per field. And then you can always go back here and show a total, and it's going to show you the overall running total for that particular field. We have here field 18. We're sitting at a total potential profit of $4,322. And field 20, we're sitting at a potential profit of $6,000 after our harvest. Now, I'm going to call the train. And we're going to sell our wheat and our soybeans. So we've got 68,000 liters of wheat and 22,000 liters of soybeans. That's what we've gotten off of those three fields. So we'll see what happens once the train arrives. We come back here to our precision farming screen. We come here to our pH. We can see the pH has dropped and 
a little bit, but it's still not bad. We could continue to cycle these fields by putting more crop in the grant in the field with seed and basically run through another two, three, possibly even four harvests without losing too much yield as a result of a low pH. Nitrogen, as you can see, has plummeted down pretty good. Unless we go and put soybeans back in these fields, we're going to have to put nitrogen on these fields when we put the next crop in. Yield, let's take a look at overall yield. We've had about 120 to 115% yield down here on field 20. Then we're sitting around 85% yield, 90% yield, 95% yield on all of our fields. We could have increased the yield even more if we rolled or mulched. We didn't bother rolling. We didn't bother mulching. We just did the field work that was required as an aspect of precision farming. That's what this series was all about, after all, was to talk about precision farming. But we could have rolled the field after seeding to get an additional couple percent yield bonus. We could have mulched after harvest in order to again get a couple percent bonus on that. So now that our train is here, let's jump in. Fill this car up with wheat. We'll fill the first car up with soybeans. And we'll sell it and we'll see what our environmental score bonus is really going to be. Should be pretty decent because we're going to get 12%. All right, off we go to the Pillsburn cell point. So guys, I hope this series has been useful in understanding precision farming for Farming Simulator 22. In part one, we did an intro to precision farming. We talked about the things that were new with respect to precision farming and Farming Simulator 22 as compared to the precision farming in Farm Sim 19. In part two, we looked at the field prep preparing the field, putting lime down, doing any stubble tillage, things like that, taking soil samples with the soil sampler or basically getting a soil survey done. Part three, we took a look at seeding and everything you need to do after you put seed into the ground. And in part four, we have looked at basically harvest and basically the payoff. So you can see we got $16,818 as an environmental score reward in selling our crop because we had that environmental score of 82. So guys, thank you all for coming out and watching. Like I said, hope you all have enjoyed this series. Let me know down in the comments below what has been your experience with precision farming in Farming Simulator 22. Have you run into those interesting quirks? For example, our environmental, our environmental score of soybeans never really reflecting the nitrogen. Our environmental score for fields 18 and 20 never really reflecting lime or nitrogen until we actually put the harvester in the field. And then at that point, we got a 99, we got a 98, and then we're sitting here at 69. But overall, an environmental score of 89 is nothing to st shake a stick at. If you do happen to get a total environment score of 100, the maximum environmental score bonus you could get for selling your crops is going to be 15%. So until next time, happy farming. <laughs>